the camera. The Lord rebuke you, Satan, get off my device in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. Alright, I'm just gonna carry on the screen for a pay. Alright, here we go, I'm gonna carry on again. God bless you, Bridlington. I've come here to tell you that God loves you, but I've also come here to tell you that time is running out and the Lord Jesus Christ is coming, just like it says in the Holy Word of God. And if you're not saved, I mean, if you haven't already believed the Gospel of Jesus Christ, then please do not hesitate any longer, because He is coming. We are in the season. The Bible says that no man knows the hour or the day of his return. But Jesus said, when all these things which are happening in the world right now begin to happen, then know that it is at the door. So we know by what's going on in the world that we are in, li living in the end of the age of... Living in the end times we are. Jesus Christ is coming for his church just like he promised and if you're not saved please get saved it's not about going to church every Sunday it's not about being religious it's simply about having some faith and believing that Jesus is the Son of God believe the Word of God which tells us that we have all sinned past, present, and future, we've all sinned according to the scriptures. The Bible says we've all broken God's commandments according to the scriptures. And the Bible says that the wages of sin is death. That means the eternal separation from God in outer darkness, in hell. And the Bible says that God wants this for no man, no woman. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved, and all can be saved. The Bible says that God wants all to be saved, but he's left mankind with a choice. He's left us with free will, either to receive or reject the free gift of God, which is everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord, for everybody that believes. And it doesn't matter what you have done. Because Jesus will welcome you with open arms. And he'll pour out his love into you. For God is love. Turn to the Lord. Return to the Lord. Return to the Lord your God. Make sure you know that your name is written in the book of life. In God's book of life. Make sure you know that you're going to spend an eternity in the kingdom of heaven and not hell because these are two literal places whether you believe it or not when you die you'll spend eternity in one of the two and there's no in between there's no purgatory it's heaven or it's hell and the only name under heaven given to us by which we must be saved is Jesus Christ Jesus said I am the way the truth and the life. Jesus Christ said, I am the door. By me, if any man, if any man, that means it doesn't matter what you've done, if any man shall enter in, he shall be saved. He shall go in and out and find pasture. The thief, Satan, the God of this age, the father of lies, he comes only to steal and to kill and to destroy. And Satan is on overtime trying to distract every human being from turning to the Lord Jesus so that he, the people don't get saved and they end up in hell. That's the devil's job. Don't allow him. Believe the gospel of Jesus Christ and you'll be saved, sealed, justified, sanctified. You'll have a one-way ticket to heaven by believing the gospel of Jesus Christ. No, no, sir, you want to come, you want to come to argue. I don't want to come to argue. I want to tell people how, how God loves. It doesn't matter, I am going to continue. You're so angry, sir. 
Are you trying to stop me from preaching? That's what. Yes. That's alright. I'm not afraid. God lives all of his name. The Bible says that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Jesus, that whosoever believes on him should not perish but have everlasting life. Be a whosoever, because there's only one name, and there's only one way that leads to everlasting life, and it's, and it's through the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus died in our place, on the cross. He shed his blood for the forgiveness of our lifetime of sin, past, present, and future sin. And he was buried, and he was resurrected on the third day according to the scriptures. That's the blessed gospel. And when you believe it in your heart, you will be justified. When you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. If any man is ashamed of the Lord Jesus, he'll be ashamed of that person when he comes in the power of his Father with the holy angels. Please don't be ashamed of the one who was beaten so badly that the Bible says he was unrecognizable. He was nailed to the cross, but it was God's purpose to do this so that Jesus could be sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood because it is written, there is no forgiveness of sins without the shedding of blood. So Jesus shed his blood on the cross for our lifetime of sin. And he was buried and he was raised to life on the third day according to the scriptures. And if you shall confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and you're not afraid nor ashamed to say, I need you Lord Jesus, come into my life and you believe it truly that God raised him to life on the third day, you will be saved. Save yourselves. Time is running out. Don't be ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for you on that cross. He so loves us that he took our place to pay the penalty in full for all the things that we've done wrong and all the commandments of God that we have broken, all the sin that we have done in our lives. Well, Jesus paid the penalty for it all. He shed his blood for the remission of all our sin. And he was buried and he rose again from the on the third day from the dead. And if you shall confess Jesus as Lord, and you're not afraid, and you're not ashamed, to call upon the name of the Lord Jesus, and believe it in your heart, that God raised him to life indeed, you will be saved. When you know that this is true, that Jesus died for you, you believe it, and you know it's true, you know that he was buried in the tomb. You know that he was raised to life on the third day. You are immediately justified before the God of the whole earth. That's what the word of God says. And when you call upon Jesus, you will be saved. I said, come into my life, Lord Jesus. And he did, and he saved me. And I realize now that that is the best decision that I ever made, the most important one, because it seals my eternity. I know if I were to die today, I'm not afraid to die. I'm not afraid of death, because I know that when I, if I was to die today, if I, if I was to die today, I go straight to heaven to be with the Lord Jesus Christ, because God wants all to be saved. I find this very ignorant of you coming up to me and pointing at me. There's no need for it. I haven't done anything to you. Please go away from me. Just, just, just leave me alone. No. 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 I'm here to say that time is running out and that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming. I'm here to tell you that Jesus will accept anybody and everybody who comes to him in truth. It doesn't matter what you're doing, it doesn't matter what you've done. You turn to the Lord Jesus Christ 
and he will abundantly receive you with open arms. He will forgive you all your sin, past, present and future. He will show you his marvelous loving kindnesses and his loving forgivenesses. He will show you just how much he loves you and he's only asking that you believe that he was sacrificed on the cross to shed his blood for all our sin, that he was buried, that he rose again on the third day. That's all God's asking. He's not asking you to get religious. He's not asking you to go to church every Sunday. God has nothing to do with religion. In fact, the Lord Jesus Christ reputes the religious people of his day because they were hypocrites. Jesus rebuked the people, religious people of his day because they were hypocritical. They shut the door to the kingdom of God in men's faces. They neither entered in and they would stop those who were entering in. But Jesus has an open door like this for anybody and everybody. the last day because we are really on the cusp of the rapture happening. This world shall be turned upside down immediately after when Jesus descends from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel and with the trumpet of God, the dead in Christ, all who ever all who ever believed on Jesus Christ will be snatched up to heaven in the rapture and then the great tribulation apocalypse period will begin. It will be so terrible. Jesus said it will be so terrible that men's hearts shall faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. Persecuted already, but count it all joy, Jesus said, when you were persecuted for righteousness' sake. So, they can say what they want. I'm not going to shut up. Right up until Jesus comes, I won't be shutting up. I have every right to stand here, no more rights. Trying to find me the microphone, I hope I brought it with me. Perhaps only one word, I don't know. I just keep trying with this microphone, it could be, it could be the batteries, but I thought they were fresh, I thought they were brand, brand new. It's not saying it's the batteries. I'll just keep continuing. Oh yes, it is the batteries, right, hold on. That's why it kept going off, because it was the batteries. I thought I'd just put new batteries in all in both of them. And I should have I should have two. I should have two of these microphones. I don't know why I can't find the other one. See how much of trouble I'm getting. I'm only telling people the way to be saved. This is how much people hate Jesus Christ. To shout out the window, thinking horrible things like that. Just shows you how far this world has turned from truth. Believing lies instead. They'd rather believe anything except the truth. And it's true. God bless you, Bridlington. I have come here to tell you that God loves you. I've come here to tell you that this could be the last call into the kingdom of God before the Lord Jesus comes and gathers all believers up into heaven in the rapture. When the Lord himself descends from heaven with the shouts, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trumpet of God. And the dead in Christ shall rise first, and then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord Jesus. And then this world shall be turned upside down according to... According to the Bible, through the prophet Isaiah, this world shall indeed be turned upside down during the great tribulation apocalypse period. 
He don't want to be here for what's coming upon this world. Jesus said it would be a time so terrible that there's never been a time like it and there never will be again. And if God didn't shorten the days of the seven year great tribulation, then no flesh would survive. That means that artificial intelligence will destroy mankind. Jesus said it would be a time so terrible that men's hearts shall faint from fear when they see what is coming upon this world, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And if you are ashamed of the Lord Jesus Christ, he's going to be ashamed of you. Don't be one of the many who only find out how real hell is when you land there. It's a place of eternal torment, a place of eternal separation from God in outer darkness where there is weeping and wailing where there is gnashing of teeth where the worm never dies and the fire never goes out and all who reject the love of the truth can expect to find themselves spending eternity there and that's why I'm here because God doesn't want any to perish just like his word says the Holy Bible says that God wants all to be saved. The Holy Word of God, the Bible, tells us that all can be saved. For whosoever shall call, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Be a whosoever and stop gambling with your soul. Because you are more than flesh and bones. You have an eternal spirit and soul living inside you. And one day you will spend eternity in one of two places, heaven or hell. And that's why I'm here, because I love you, because God loves you. Love tells the truth. Love warns you of the danger approaching. I could just be quiet, but that's not love. No, I'm here to tell you the consequences of rejecting the one and only Son of God, the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm also here to tell you how simple it is for all to be saved. And all can be saved. Sarah, are you alright? Sarah, are you alright? Are you not Sarah? Oh, sorry, I mixed you up with someone. Alright. until the first one is uploaded because I've noticed when I do there's, there's, there's problems see people shout so much rubbish at me but listen it goes in there it goes out there that in alright and I just polished my badge of honour you know because I know that it's just rewarding me more in heaven Jesus said when you are persecuted leap for joy <laughs> I know it's hard to do that sometimes but that's I need to do rejoice, rejoice, and rejoice. God bless you guys. I love you. The fear of man bringeth a snare, but whoso puts his trust in the Lord shall be safe. Amen. <laughs>